What's going down? Basement Band Channel, Thor Sots of the Show. I'm back. It's in the McFarland Toys DC Multiverse 2222 pack. It's the one I've been waiting for. I've, ah, for so long. It's Spawn and Batman. Boom. Inspired by the comic from Todd McFarlane. It's, look at this thing. It's gorgeous. I mean, the packaging is, is out of control. You got them two on the back, all comic y style. The, you got, ah. Batman has a Batarang, multiple hands. Spawn has a long cape, longest I think they've done since they restarted doing Spawns. Um, and he's got that big sword. It's, oh, it's so good. It's so good. So this was announced right around the time of Comic-Con or slightly before. So here's, the, okay, there's the background. Which is cool. That's cool. Now, though, the question, the question definitely is going to be, um, does it warrant the 10 extra dollar price point? TBD. TBD. Because it's 50. It's a 50. Oh, the sword. That's, we've all been waiting for that sword. That skull on the sword looks amazing. Oh, even the spawn symbol on the, on the handle there. The bottom of the pommel looks, oh, it's crispy. So crispy. <laughs> extra crispy. Now, Bat Batman's Batarang is comically large. I mean, that thing, <laughs> that's a, <laughs> that may be the biggest Batarang we've gotten. I'll, you know what, I'll, I'll shoot a size comparison of all the Batarangs I have. I think that's the biggest. And then you get a pair of hands. You get a fist and a holding hand. But, and then he's got two holes. So no, not a pair of fists, not a pair of fists, but just... A fist. That's fine. I mean, you do get, I mean, it is extra hands. So now again, I'm being nitpicky, which I specialize in. This <clears throat> base is cool. It should be longer. They should be able to stand on it. It should have foot pegs for them. Um, and it should probably be, oh, about two inches wider, maybe three. But I will say, I do love the backdrop aspect to this. Um, again, I don't know. Does it add 10 extra dollars of worth? I'm not sure. Now, I will say, one of the things I'm super excited about, we get cards. And you're like, Thor, we get cards with everything. Yeah. But this is the first Spawn card. It's all been DC figures up till now. We've never gotten Spawn card. And that, that Spawn comic card is so cool looking. It's so good. Oh my gosh, I don't know what issue they picked that from. And then the Batman card isn't, doesn't look like it's from the box or the comic. That looks really good too. Oh my gosh. This two pack is, again, now I have to destroy the background um, to get the, all the stuff. I do like how they split the background with the flames on one side, like a spawn figure and DC, uh, the multiverse backing on the other. I don't dig this. As, it's not as crazy of a background as like the Doomsday. Superman one, so I don't feel as bad about just tearing it out. Handy dandy, you get two, two handy dandy McFarlane standees. And they put a giant spawn symbol on that one, which is different than, yeah, normally they just write spawn on it. If it's like spawn universe stuff, they just write spawn, but that is a giant spawn symbol. So, wow, the capes on these are huge. Boom, there you go, we'll go spawn first. This cape is awesome. The way it drapes all the way to the floor and you just get the big hood. Oh, this is the best cape they've done for a spawn for sure. Now I got next to the body buck from the spawn in a throne. He's a little bit shinier. Um, the symbol is a little bit different. So there, there are, it is a, it is a different spawn than just your straight up. The, the face is different too. Like it's a, it diff, just different coloring to it a little bit. I have, I have an aftermarket cape for this bond. So once I get that done, we'll see, we'll have to do a, a cape comparison with this cape. But this is a really, oh, my ankle's off a little bit. Not a big deal, I can fix that one. Ah, there we go. Yeah, my ankle's like completely twisted. But this is great, this spawn, I mean, the shoulder, the cape obviously hampers his shoulder mobility incredibly like and I don't mean just a little bit you can't raise his arms he's like 
Frankenstein. Like you, that's it. That's it. Like that is it. So posability is is definitely hampered by the cape, but all the all the details are there. They look great. This is a great looking spawn, um, minus the the little bit of you know issues. I mean, that that cape though. Ugh. Boom. I wish it didn't have the big boot either, but that's the spawn they go with. So here we go, Batman. This, all right, now I will say everyone ragged on the face. It's not the best, but it's definitely not as bad as what people you know thought it was going to be. I think getting it in hand, it looks way better in hand. And those those ears and that cape, that cape is really good too. The the jet the black of this costume, I really like. It's it. This is a dope Batman. Like again, his now he's a little bit better. He can probably go straight out zombie instead of ooh, down here zombie because um, it doesn't come as far down as Spawn's does. But these are two beefy capes. I like the belt. I like the, the this is a really dope Batman. Like the head and neck are one piece. So it's not like it does obviously as hampers his looking up mobility, uh, but not as looking down. He can look like chin to his chest, which is impressive. It's impressive. Um, yeah, his posability is like, that's medium because the cape's not as bad as, here we go, let's get, oh my gosh, I really, really dig the, here, let's, uh, I dig the background. I like the spawn a lot. I I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about the cape and the the hampered mobility is, is not, like, oh, you get that sword in his hand? Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Um, I wish they would have molded the ankles, and the well, the ankles are molded, but the wrist joints are just balls. They're not they're not molded for some reason. Same with Batman. They do molded wrists on a lot of figures, but they just chose not to on these two, which is whatever. It's a it's a choice. I don't think it hurts the figures overall like grade. I mean, now you get. You get four pairs of hands. You do get a sword. You get the background, but it's 50 bucks instead of 40 bucks. And it's not, Spawn's not mega figure size. I don't know. It's right on the verge. You could make the argument either way. You could make the argument you get just enough to make it worth it. You could make the argument you get just enough to make it not worth it. Uh, or you don't get, you know what I'm saying. But like that's, oh, look at those two. There you go. All right, let's read the cards. Let's start with Batman. Real name, Bruce Wayne. As a child, uh, Bruce Wayne watched as his parents were brutally killed in Gotham City's crime alley. Traumatized by their death, he devoted his life to becoming the world's greatest weapon against crime, the Batman. He's a master detective and expert martial artist, but his greatest weapon is his mind. Batman has a plan for every occasion, as well as high-tech weapons, gadgets, and vehicles to assist him in his relentless pursuit of justice. Yes, he does, and he rocks. These are my two favorite, two of my favorite heroes of all time. Nightwing's the best, but these two are really great. I mean, they're like three, two and three for me. Um, all right, Spawn, which Spawn is awesome. Seeing these two team up in a comic was really cool. Did you read that comic? I love that comic. I know this isn't comic review, but and yeah, oh. The, the, the base is good. It should be longer, though. It's got to have foot pegs. I don't, I don't understand that. All right, Spawn. Uh, Spawn was once a man named Al Simmons, a highly trained assassin who realized that the government wasn't always right and started questioning their actions, which caught the attention of people in high power. In a blazing inferno, Al was murdered by she, uh, by she Spawn. His soul sent to hell because he had knowingly killed innocents in his CIA days. Al made a deal to sell his soul to a de de demonic being known as Melboja uh, to get his wife Wanda once again. After returning as some kind of strange hell spawn, Al found out she had moved on and married his best friend and even had a child named Cyan. Uh, his demonic uh, demonic guide Violator revealed to Spawn the purpose of his life. Now, realizing his purpose, he must fight to survive against both the forces of heaven and hell. They condensed that down to a, a pretty good back read on the card. I like the, the back of the card's different even than the, like, the back of the card looks more like a Spawn box. I wish they did Spawn cards now. Now I want Spawn cards, though. You gave me one. I want more. Now I want more. All right. 
taking everything into account. It's a 10 out of 10. I can't even. It's Spawn. It's Batman. It's got extra hands. There is a battering. It's too large. You get the Necro Sword, cards, every, I mean, the whole package. It's a 10. It's a 10. I love it. I absolutely love it. Now, Screaming Face, meh, it's not the best, but it is definitely not as bad as those promo pictures. The promo pictures didn't do this thing justice. And I don't think my video and my pictures are probably doing it justice either. I think until you get it in hand, it's, it's, you get this two pack in hand and you're like, whoo. I mean, watch my unboxing video. That's genuine me pulling it out, the excitement. And I even knew it was coming. I know, you know, like this thing's great. If you're a fan of these two figures, if you're a fan of the comic that they were in, if you're a fan of this line, it's a must have. It's a must get. 10 out of 10, baby. Batman and Spawn finally home. There you go. Uh, you know what to do. You know how to do it. Spread the love base, my banner. Tell your friends. Tell your work buddies. Tell your relatives. Tell everyone. Share the love. Till next time. Adusa. Dang. I mean, it's, it's really good. It's really good.